Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jake Two Curly in the Cut. Yes, sir. Today's video is a good one. So you might be able to tell, you might not, but I've never looked this good in my entire life. Like, look at my hair. My hair is horrendous. I haven't got a haircut in around mm, a month, maybe a month and a half. I'm literally to post this video on my channel. I have to have a haircut. So that's where we're going in a little bit. But you guys, we have to start our morning off right. You have to eat breakfast today. We got an avocado muffin with egg and ham. Pretty much the best breakfast in my opinion it's right there if you don't know how to make that bro just man just follow the rules come here i'll help y'all just pay attention ready didn't know chef jake too curly was being brought out but it was good all right step one get your avocado if you don't have avocado bro you're already losing i like get your ass to the store and buy an avocado the best way to peel an avocado bro is cut the tip off and then cut it in half from there don't just it's not a mango watch and learn Ooh. and this part you just go Imagine Ew. it's too early for all this, bro. Yeah, so you just take the top off, cut down the middle, bruh, <laughs> and twist, bruh. Look at it, it's gonna come out like this. Now that we have our avocado prepared, now let's get to cooking. We're gonna need one egg and one muffin. Change! We got our egg right here. I'm just using a normal egg, cage free, cause shit, I don't believe in cages. Free them chickens for real. This is the muffin that we're gonna be using. It's just like a whole wheat muffin. You can get it at any store, I'm pretty sure. Cut it down the middle. We're only gonna be using one side, so put this side back in the bag. I have a question for y'all. Y'all know when you're making a sandwich, you have like a loaf of bread. When you have a loaf of bread and you're getting down to like the last bits, is that when you decide, if you're super, super hungry, are you gonna eat the front of the loaf of bread and the back of the loaf of bread together to make a sandwich? Or you're like, you're not even gonna put those together, you're just gonna like eat some cereal or something, you know? Like, this is what the front loaf of the bread looks like, and this is the back of the loaf. It's like the weirdest looking things on earth. I feel like those aren't even meant to be eaten. It might be just bean, but I would have never ate those parts of the bread because that's just nasty. You're down bad if you're eating that. Well, I mean, there's many starving children, but <laughs> that's just, oh, yeah, I'm not, I cannot do that. All right, it's time to yap and let's get to cooking. We got our egg, now just heat up our pan. All right, let's start this bad boy up. Put this on the highest heat you can get it so you can heat it up really quickly. And we're gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil. I heard it's like the healthiest olive oil to use aside from like avocado spray, but we don't got avocado spray today. You gotta work with what you got, all right? All right, the pan seems pretty hot. Once your pan's hotter than your breath, then that's when you know you're ready to start cooking. So just add your oil after that. Put your pan back on the heat. I was once featured on MasterChef. If you didn't know, that's a little fun fact about me. So look at this. Prove it to you, I can crack an egg with one hand. Well, we got an A for effort. I was so close, bro. Damn it. We're just gonna season this with some pepper. You gotta put a little one two action in here. There we go. All right, now for I was actually featured on Master Chef, so look at this. Ready? If you weren't featured on Master Chef, then you're you're just losing. You're not up there with me. Watch this. Oh, buddy! Man, it's too early for me. Honestly, I'm just like, oh. I went to sleep last night at 2 a.m. editing a video, so I'm really, really, really sleepy. Right now it's like 9 a.m. I should be wide awake. I'm wide awake. I was in the dark. Oh. All right, this egg should be done. We're gonna put it on the cold side. Now let's work on our buns. All right, so after you burn yourself with a muffin, get your avocado and slice that bad boy up. We're gonna be snapping this on here, just like this. And we're not Chipotle over here. We're not stingy with the avocado, all right? Here with Jake 2 Curly, you can use as much avocado as you want. I'm not gonna charge you an extra four bucks for it. Look at that. Look at that schmink. Respect the schmink. Sheesh! Look at that, bruh. This is like 10 orders of wok for people at Chipotle. And we're using it for one piece of toast at my house. It's super important to season your avocado, so right after you put that, you put everything bagel seasoning. We got the everything bagel seasoning. It comes with everything except the bagel. <laughs> Or you just you just put it on here like that. Pretty much all it is is like seeds and like I don't even know all. I forgot to mention I put a piece of ham on to heat up and warm up. I'm trying to hit a protein goal today, so don't forget to add the ham. Ham goes right on top of the avocado. Woo! Slap it for good luck. And last but not least, the egg. Don't break. Don't break. I'm a, it'll ruin my day if it breaks. Please, 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 please. Yeah. A little crooked, but it's all good. Hey, not too shabby. All right, breakfast has been made for today. So far, so good. We're starting off the day right with some brekkie. This is probably only about 200 calories with, with like maybe 40 to 45 grams of protein. That's pretty good in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna munch this up in my belly. I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready. It's the top of the morning. With that being said, we gotta get dressed, all right? So today's plan. I'm just super excited to execute the first mission of the day. Once I get that over with, I'll be happy. Unless I get messed up. 
So currently, this is how my hair looks right now. I have a big old forehead. My lineup isn't straight. Like, look at that, bro. This is how the back of my hair looks. Like, I am just crusty. This is the longest I've gone without a haircut in probably like two years, which is a blessing to say. I'm very happy with the position I'm in that I could like go two months without getting a haircut, that I can get a haircut every week. But just like the past couple weeks, I've been busy every single Thursday, which is my normal haircut appointment day. All right, I'm gonna hop in the shower to stop looking crusty, musty, dusty. We're gonna put on some hair product. We just hopped out the shower. I feel so clean now. I haven't showered in about like three days. Can you imagine? Guys with curly hair understand the struggle. If you wake up and you don't do your hair, you don't shower, you don't style it, you're in for a good one. You're in for a quite a good amount of stares all day. They're gonna be like, and especially if you're trying to wear like a bummy fit, like just some sweats and some like, and a hoodie, bro, oh my. Don't get me started, man. Been there, done that, that's why I don't do it anymore. All right, so I'm gonna brush my teeth right now and before y'all start complaining, yes, I do eat before I brush my teeth in the morning, all right? No problem with that. Why are you gonna brush your teeth, have the toothpaste in your mouth, bite into whatever you're eating, and it's like not the same flavor? Might as well eat first and then brush them after. That's like the only way to do it. And if you're like grossed out, bro, I brush my teeth the night before. Like, it's just, it's literally like eight hours of sleep, wake up, eat, and then brush my teeth again. So, some of y'all take that out of portion. Nah, but we do gotta brush my teeth right now, so we got my toothpaste. Put this bad boy on here. And I'm the type of person that puts water first and then toothpaste and then water again. So that's the only way to brush your teeth. Let's get to brushing. All right, so now that your grill's all fresh and clean, it's time to do your hair. For my boys or girls with curls, let me put you on whey curl cream. Bro, I know it's a little pricey, but like you get everything you pay for. This is what it looks like. It's a little bottle and it says whey leave-in conditioner. I don't know if I said curl cream, but it's the whey leave-in conditioner. It's a little spray. I don't have any curl cream on me, so this is what we're using. You just spray it like it's water in your hair. Scrunch it up a little bit. You don't have to scrunch too much, just a little bit. Fluff it up and you should be good to go. It, it actually does dry up a little bit, but it's nothing compared to the curl cream. So this one just like, it just like sets your hair, you know? I said I was excited earlier, but I'm actually nervous to get my first haircut here. But I haven't gotten a bad haircut since like sixth grade. Nah, since like my freshman year in high school, which was like four years ago, five years ago. Nah, I think that's like six years ago, bruh. I'm losing track of time, but if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go. It's officially time, time to go get blessed. My appointment for my haircut later has to bless me. So, let's get ready, let's get on the road. All right, currently we are headed to the very, very first cut of the day. There's only gonna be two, but this one in particular is rated 2.8 stars, which compared to the star level of the place that I am going to and the results, this place is not really it. There is tons of bad reviews, but in the world we live in, there's a bunch of Karen. So if you are interested in what the reviews were, here they are. All right, so KM said, long wait for a bad haircut with a side of Shirley service. Who could ask for more? Bro, shut your op. She was being sarcastic as you can tell, but this might be a good price if you just need your head shave or a very simple trim but for the love of god for the love of god do not go in expecting a nice haircut style and do i even have to say this <sighs> highlights or hair color no 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 <laughs> Ashley G from Pasadena, California rated this a one star and she said, oh hell, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but look it. I just left the Supercuts on Washington Avenue for a few minutes and I had to pull over because I couldn't wait to review this place. I scheduled an online appointment for 5.40 p.m. for a Supercut JR, which is a haircut for 10 years and younger. My daughter is six. I am aware it's not an official appointment and can take longer to be seen. However, upon arriving at 5.39 p.m., big tall chick with a very long, almost platinum blonde ponytail made it very obvious to look at the clock and then look at me. At this point, it's like your fault for taking them to Supercuts in the first place. Like, come on now. Get it together, Ashley G. This next review says, Checked into this location and there was no one waiting, but each stylist had a customer. Check-in advised the wait time was about eight minutes. 45 minutes later, I was still waiting and no one checked or advised how long it would be. A woman then came in and got a quick haircut and left while I sat there. While I sat there, she had not called ahead, had to leave to get back to work. She had not called ahead. I had to leave to head back to work. Not a great lunch break. Like, bro, Dan, it looks like you got a nice car in the picture, but my boy, if you're going to Supercuts to get a haircut, Come on, like, get it together, Karen. You get what you paid for, brother. Elizabeth P rated this two stars and said, Do not fucking go. Do not go to Melissa. Melissa has no skill, no training, and no business cutting women's hair. She might be better sticking to buzz cuts. Shut your... I'm not even gonna read the rest, but pause to read. All right, last but not least, Eloreza S from Spring, Texas rated this one star, and she said, I called them at 910, and they said they have availability now. I said, okay, I'm on my way. When I arrive, I see they have no one working, but they have one person, and she was busy. So I had to wait about 25 minutes. 
minutes. Don't come here if you're in a rush or have meetings after. Ah, hate to say it, Alareza, but you're part of the problem. So yeah, not the happiest customers, but like in a world full of Karens and a city that's super, super hot, I wouldn't want to be waiting in line either or getting messed up. So right now we're 11 minutes away. So 11 minutes until I get messed up. That's what we're looking at. One of the main things I'm nervous about is like if she doesn't let me record the haircut because the point is to go to a one-star barbershop versus like a five-star and I can't even record. That's the main issue. What if she leaves me blessed? Like blessed to the point where I don't even have to go later to the other haircut. That'd be clean. Right there, that's like a $50 tip. Just that alone. I'm only in Houston for a couple days and this is a city that I've always wanted to come to and it's super, super nice. But the area that I'm in, I've yet to see the bougie rich side of this city. So by the time this video is up, I'm already gone. But it was good while the two days I was here. I know a big staple of like Texas and like maybe a couple other states is Whataburger. Bro, I've yet to try Whataburger. I'm born and raised in California, so In-N-Out is like the main thing. Like if people from out of state come and they're like, what's good to eat? In-N-Out. In-N-Out's the way. 10 out of 10 burgers every single time. We're gonna test out the theory. Is In-N-Out better than Whataburger? Honestly, I don't think anything could be In-N-Out, but that's just my biased opinion because I was born and raised in California. But we are gonna be putting that to the test. So we are nine minutes away from getting cursed at the very low star rated barbershop. I will see you guys when I get there. Wish me luck. Okay, we just got here to the barbershop that is rated 2.8 stars on Yelp. And it doesn't look that bad from what I'm seeing. It's in like a newer shopping market. I feel like the thing that's bad about it is the parking. That's the only thing. Like you can't really find a parking spot, especially right now. And it's only 11 in the morning. So I am super excited to try it. I don't see anyone in there right now, but hopefully there's not a line to... Oh, never mind. All right, there might be a little wait, but we're gonna ask to see if we can film. Hopefully we get this through and I'm ready to get my first haircut of the day. <sighs> I hope y'all wish me luck earlier because this is not fake. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. Cool, let me get you set up and then we'll get the phone out. Let's do it. I don't have any photo inspirations, but I like want something a little bit off the side. I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. And then like around the back. Um, and then maybe like a little trim of the tips on the top of the hair. Just so it's like, not like this long, but I still want the long, like the length of the curls, you know? Yeah. Um, no, we can keep it just to a little, like on the tips, just all around. From the start, I feel like she knew she didn't know what she was doing. But hey, it doesn't hurt to try. I was so nervous as she started to get her tools to cut my hair. All I could think about is how messed up my hair was going to be. I ended up starting a conversation with her so that I could distract myself from the fact that I'm at a 2.8 star rated barbershop. She started cutting my curls and I got even more nervous. At that point, it's crossing the line, okay? I'm Jake too curly for a reason. I don't want to be Jake too bald or nothing like that, bruh. All right, so I'm spinning around trying to look at my hair again, and this is what I got. I cannot believe it. I'm trying to look as happy as I can, but I know deep down this is a horrible haircut. On the side, it doesn't look bad, but honestly, I don't like the way she styled the top of my hair. So she said not to scrunch it, but I'm going to scrunch it as much as I can to get all this stuff fluffier. Like, in my opinion, this right here, like this mushroom looks better than what it was before, but the back of my hair. Okay, let me start off with the pros. Pros is it's a $25 haircut. I tipped $5, so it's a $30 haircut, but originally a $25 haircut, right? In California, I pay $60 for my haircut, so the pro already is I just saved about $40. I don't think the math adds up. Like $35, $30, okay? I saved myself that just to begin with. So obviously, if you're paying less for something, the quality is gonna go down as well for most cases. Not all cases are like that, but for most cases, it is. I really like the size, like... There's not really blending going on. Honestly, it looks better on camera than it does in person, but I don't think the back of the hair does. Pricing, service, 100,000 out of 10, all right? But the cons, quality of the haircut, and then I think that's just it. Because it didn't take long, so I think that's a con. I don't know. Honestly, that might be a pro and a con. I, I don't mind how long my barber takes on my hair. Like, I schedule my haircut where I don't have to do anything the rest of the day just so he could take his time on my haircut. But this one, I was like in and out in less than 30 minutes. So when she asked to do my edge up, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, hold up. Nah, nah, nah. Oh it's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't get a line of, but usually I do. If she would have touched this, y'all, my forehead, as big as it is already, would have been like a six head. It's not even a forehead. It's a five head to begin with. Not lying. Look at five, five fingers fit. It would have been 
a six head. <laughs> but yeah, that is our experience in Houston for our very, very first haircut. I heard Houston's the best for its food, drinks, and stuff like that. I'm not 21. Aside from getting my haircut at a 2.8 star rated barbershop, let's try some food while we're out here. So we're gonna be trying some food. I think I'm on, I think we're gonna go for a barbecue and I'm not really sure where is a good spot. She said truth barbecue. Let's search that up, see what the stars are on that, and then let's see where we go from there. I haven't had a good barbecue in such a long time. This is like good barbecue and this is mid barbecue. You can't have mid barbecue, bro. Like, look at that. Who wants to eat that? Nobody. So our next journey begins. My next haircut appointment is at 6 p.m. and I have quite a few things to do before that, but until then, let's get to grubbing. All right, so I'm nervous to even walk outside of my car because I'm not looking the best, but we're gonna come to Tooth Barbecue. It is super, super packed, so let's try to get the best shots we can. a barbershop that I'm going to has a basketball court. Look at this. This is for real five star right here. If I make it, I'm getting blessed. Oh shit. Bro, okay, nah, nah, nah. Bro I'm meant for I'm meant for YouTube, not this. This is like luxury. It's like I'm getting a haircut in Drake's house. Oh yeah. And what else y'all do? What other services you have? We go, we go. We're going to try to get crazy. <laughs> other services. I mean, it's five star for a reason. Yeah, five star because uh, we're cutting you upstairs. <laughs> all right, this is the before, all right? My head's looking like this. Uh, what did you ask for? I asked for a taper. A taper fade, right? Which was which is ball on the side, ball and on the back. Yeah, yeah, and I was like a low taper. Low taper off top of that. I feel like they're just not familiar with what they're doing. So like, let's say for example, one of you guys goes out there uh, to a, what'd you, what'd you call it, Super Clips? Yeah, Super Clips. You go somewhere, Super Cuts, Sport Clips, or whatever it's called, it's a franchise. Uh, just tell them to go as bald as, uh, how old is this? Right, uh, this is like three hours ago, four hours ago. No way! Sorry, I got that at like 12 p.m. Yeah, so I'd say uh, I'd suggest uh, ask them just to go as bald as they can. So you can just tell they're not uh, familiar with what they're doing with the with the taper. So they were just pretty much scared of what they were doing because they even rounded out the back. Dude, which, I felt um, that. Yeah, like so it's supposed doing, to be bald. Huh? It's supposed to be a bald taper. So what I'm gonna do today is um, I'm, I'm basically what, what are you gonna get? Three All right, what what can you fix this with? And then if you want to do a design, whatever, I'll uh, add it up to the total so I can pay you. But gotcha, you go crazy. Crazy. I don't even charge for design. So don't free. That's right, bro. Tap in with my boy. <laughs> oh my god, y'all come check me out. So I'd say, yeah, do a taper. Uh, I won't take too much weight off the side just because I feel like she took too much off, right? And I feel like you had this, right? This was full? Yeah, it was oh, What cool. is it? What your hair look like this? Like before this? It looked like what? I was like, it was like wolf like, fitting. I was like, it was all grown out and everything. I had sideburns. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna just taper it in, taper the back, taper the sides, leave the way right here. I'll blend it in because I feel like what she did, I don't know if this is what you had before, but I feel like she sectioned it. So she mm -hmm. grabbed all that hair and then she brought a clipper in and she took all that way through just so they can taper it in but honestly she just he or she just messed it up honestly so uh, i'm gonna fix that you know? yes sir and then trim the top too uh the top I don't, we'll see how it goes i don't think i need a top trim we'll see right now though it depends okay cool, cool. maybe Oh, 
Oh yeah, the walk of victory. Look at this, bro. I can't believe I got cut right here, bro. That's sick. Nah, I, was, I didn't know if I was gonna get blessed today or not, bro. Shh, this is what five star does to you. Gets you in your nerves, mm. goes crazy. You get blessed, look at this. Tell them where to find you, tell them where to All find right. you. Greens Point, Houston, Texas. Y'all come out here, we're up here in North Houston. Uh, they call it Guns Point, but honestly, it's all good vibes out here. You're gonna come out here and get blessed. There's 11 of us, not just me, but you know, everybody here does good work. So if y'all are in Houston, y'all come, come check us out. He's in LA, so everybody from LA, y'all better come and check us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we out here. Good morning, welcome back, it's the next day. So I feel good today. I feel like I can go out, go do some activities, you know, have fun, all those shenanigans. I kind of woke up a little late because I was doing, I was busy doing some work last night, but look it, I tell y'all almost every single video. If you want to have pristine curls, this is the way. <laughs> no, literally. Yesterday I used the way leave-in conditioner because I just didn't want to do my hair. Just wanted it to, like to stick a little bit, but now I'm going to do my hair because I feel good. By the way, my haircut is still fresh. Watch. I'm just going to scrunch in this product real quick. This is a little morning routine with your boy Jake Too Curly. This is how my morning routines go when I wake up and I want to get ready. Usually, they're not like this anymore, but bro, before, a couple years ago, every day, get ready, 7 a.m., 7 a.m. Like, I'd be dressed at 7. So yeah, look at this. My curls are gonna be pristine. Let's see the edge up, edge up check. God, ah. The edge up check, that boy's straight. We gotta let this settle in and dry before right now it's, gonna just, it's just gonna be flat. Let's get out, let's go explore a little bit more of Houston before I leave. So I'm gonna be leaving in about tomorrow. <laughs> I was only here for three days, bro. Solo dolo trip, but it was worth it. It was worth every penny. I miss my girlfriend, I miss my dogs, I miss everyone at my home. The grind don't stop. My favorite part of this haircut is like the design, dude. The fade goes crazy and everything, but, but you can't beat the design. All right, buddy, this Houston weather. It's more bipolar than my girlfriend, so I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm supposed to go out there in the rain, but I'm looking all fitted, so this is how we're gonna do it. All right, so we're in the car right now, and it's officially time. Time to discuss. We're gonna be discussing something crazy. Bro, who sat here? What the? Destroy me at midnight. This has been discussed many, many times before, but I'm the Burger King here, all right? Hold on, no pun intended, because Burger King, you know? All right, I'm from California. We got in and out Currently, I'm in Texas, so here there's Whataburger. The real discussion, is Whataburger better than in and out So, I don't know what Whataburger has, bro. All I've seen is like patty melts and just regular backyard hamburgers, all right? Which isn't a bad thing. It could be a good thing, I guess, but for my opinion, I feel like in and out is special because of the sauce they use, the animal fries, it's like a whole combination. I hope I try something good because if I like get something and I'm like, oh, yeah, water burger's not good. It's worse than in and out. And then y'all are in the comments blaming me because I didn't get something good. Then that's what I'm gonna be mad. If I was live streaming, this would be so much easier. But shoot, if you all want me to go live and start live streaming again, let me know. I don't got a problem with that. The main thing I got a problem with is these rows, though. That's for sure. So yeah, yesterday I did try Texas barbecue and I was impressed. I was like shocked on how good it was. And and I'm super happy that I tried it and it made my day. That like made my whole Texas trip for the couple days that I've been here. Thanks, Joseph Waterburger. This is Amy. What can I get for you? Put me on with something. I'm from Cali. I like in and out I want to try right. Whataburger. You from Cali? Cali, what you want? This is Whataburger. We from Texas. We have the Whataburger. I got a double meat Whataburger, triple meat Whataburger. You can add cheese, jalapenos, or bacon to any one of them. I also have the avocado bacon burger. And we have uh, like the LTO sandwiches, which is a sweet spicy. That's a hot seller, patty meal. Number one. And now we have a southern bacon burger. And that burger because there's some cabbage on it. Okay, uh, I like the avocado one. Which one is that one? Uh, okay, that's going to be number six on your menu board. Ooh. That's yeah, let me get that one then, please. Would you like to add any uh, jalapenos to it today? Yeah, let's add jalapenos. All right, and what's your drink? What's your favorite drink? My favorite, I don't drink so. Got I would say uh, sweet tea or Powerade. Oh, let me get some sweet tea, please. All right, would you like the water fast? Uh, yeah, please. All right, did you need any condiments in the bag? I got spicy ketchup and burger ketchup. So since you're from Kelly, I'm gonna give you one of each. Oh, thank you, thank you. And what else for you? What else you recommend me to try? Mm. We have brownies, we have chocolate chip cookies, and we have apple pies. You need any dessert? Oh, give me an apple pie. All righty. And the apple pie gonna complete the order for you today? Yes, ma'am. I don't know what to say. Customer service is A1. I feel like the customer service here is crazy. Like, I don't know what minimum wage here is, but it has to be increased because all this customer service is fire. Bro, Cali, I feel like a lot of Californians don't put this much effort into their jobs, you know? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try is the sweet tea. It better be sweet. Oh, big old, ba big old cup. Let's try this bad boy out. Damn, this is pretty, pretty good. It's just warm. Then you add more ice. I'd say a seven, 7.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. Oh, they gave me fries too. All right, fry test. 
They look like McDonald's fries, but those fries are good. I heard I have to try spicy ketchup too, so. in and out don't got a lot of options. They have spread, they have yellow peppers, and, and they got ketchup. But like, that's pretty much it. We're gonna try the spicy ketchup right here. Whoa, what the? I've never tried ketchup like this. I was thinking something like sriracha with ketchup, but it's not. All right, fries, nine out of 10. Let's try the apple pie. I'm not really a big fan of apple pies, but she was just too nice to tell her, nah, it's all right. It looks like an empanada. Ready, let's go. Whoa, my, bro. The apple pie, straight doo-doo's on McDonald's apple pie. The final reveal. If I had a, here's my water burger sandwich, and here's my fake invisible in and out sandwich, all right? Comparing the two, this one looks bussin. And then this one looks like something you get at Jack in the Box. But, but it's what's in the inside that matters, not the outside, all right? Let's open this bad boy up. Damn, I should've told him to put lettuce. It looks like it has like Thousand Island sauce too. Here we go. One bite for y'all. Nah, y'all thought. Let's see. Ow! Oh, cut the camera. What the? Mmm. We gotta add some spicy ketchup just to make sure. This thing right here is like so much different than just like a, a hamburger with lettuce, tomato, and meat. Like this is something different. It has bacon, guacamole, tomato, jalapenos, meat, cheese, and it's on like a sandwich bread. I think this is like the Texas toast. I'm not sure though, I might be dumb. I'd give this, bro, I almost ate the whole thing. But I'd give that probably like a 9.5 out of 10. in and out on a good day, in and out is like a 9.5 out of 10, but like sometimes it's like inconsistent. So like the average score would be like a nine out of 10 with the fries being a 10 out of 10. So I'd say In-N-Out fries in my opinion are better than these fries, but only because these fries are just like French fries with salt. I like getting the In-N-Out side. The animal side has like the onions and the spread stuff. So this is a 9.5. What did I rate these? Seven, 7.5? These are like a nine, an eight. Fuck, oh, I don't know what to do. All right, so I'm back in the Airbnb and I got a huge package from my homies at Uprising. So this is actually a streetwear brand. This video is not sponsored, but this is a streetwear brand that my friend owns. Literally, him and his buddy own it. Shout out to Uprising for sending me this. So like. I'm such a big fan of clothes. So if you have clothes and you want to send them to me, my P.O. box is, this is my P.O. box down right here. Clothes are my favorite thing in the world, if you can't tell. Like I wear the same stuff every time except this. You guys even know it, bro. Y'all gas me when I'm wearing something like I wore like three videos ago. But we got the September drop. So if this video posts Sunday, then these might be sold out. But if this video posts Saturday, then I think you have a chance of getting it. So this is a look at that first shirt. Bro, like these are the oversized tees. You could wear them in the gym. You can wear them out to go shop. Like honestly, it's streetwear, so you could do whatever you want with it. Let's get my first impression on it. Oh, that's Oh. On the bottom, it has some writing on it. All right, so this is t-shirt number one. By the way, if you do shop with Uprising, use code Jake for a 10% discount. You literally get 10% off. All right, next up, we got a waffle tee. Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, this is sick. And then this is the back of the shirt. It says Uprising on it. Look at the waffle texture on this. Wow, Uprising on top. No cap, damn. Let's see what else we got in this care package. If you do want to shop this brand, the website is Uprising Wear Co. Dot com. Super, super simple. Uprisingwhere2co.com. Use code Jake, all caps, at checkout for 10% off. Look at this. Damn. <laughs> I'm not really a big, big fan of this color. However, it may grow on me. I love the waffle texture. Whoa. I guess the waffle comes in three different colors. It might be more, but they just might not have sent it. You guys are not gonna believe it. So like a couple weeks ago, we filmed the podcast and I was wearing some shorts and you guys are like, bro, Jay's shorts are fire. Where did he get his shorts from? These are where I got my shorts from. They're from uprisingwear.co and they just dropped a new color, red. <laughs> oh, damn. The ones that I have are like a lavender color, white and blue, like a light, light blue. And they're, bro, I wear them every day. They're my dailies. This is sick. I'm about to put, I'm about to put these on right now watch Jake to Curly's outfit change oh look at this I gotta put y'all a little bit back hold up tell me this doesn't look fire Sheesh, with the fresh cut damn I feel like a new man in this look oh I'm about to go out and go bust some ass now just kidding bro this is dope all right that's gonna wrap up today's video though thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy and you want a part two or if you like the series and you want me to try more let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye